uh, in our class on electrical measurements we have talked about compensated watt meters and uh, how to connect watt meters uh, together with CT and PT current transformer and potential transformer to measure power in a circuit. Now one question which I often get from my students is that uh, how to connect a compensated watt meter together with a current transformer and a potential transformer to measure power. In this video we are going to discuss about that question that, uh, that is how to connect a compensated watt meter together with CT and PT to measure power. Okay. So here you can see that I have drawn a circuit okay, which has a source or a generator and uh, it is connected through this transmission line to a load which is shown here which could be my office and then this load is connected back to the source through another transmission line. And here our goal is to measure the power consumed by this load that is my office in this case. Keep. Uh, before uh, we proceed, so we have here a compensated watt meter and a current transformer and potential transformer. We have to connect all of this in this circuit in a way so that the reading or the deflection of this watt meter uh, 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 is proportional to the uh, power consumed by this load. Okay. Before we uh, start our uh, connections, uh, we have to note a number of very vital crucial things. Uh, first, look at this compensated watt meter. So we have a current coil uh, drawn in blue, a pressure coil drawn in green and a compensating coil drawn in red. One thing I would like to emphasize here is that the uh, here the direction or the sense of winding of the current coil and the compensating coil they are same they are owned in the same direction or in the same sense although the number of turns uh, for the compensating coil and current coil uh, they may not be same uh, so they, the number of turns may be different but here the direction of winding of these two coils are same and to emphasize this fact I have drawn actually a core like thing in yellow okay so uh, practically there is no core in a watt meter for the current coil and compensating coil this core is only drawn to give you a uh, feeling of the direction of these two windings okay to give you a feeling of a 3d direction of these windings this core is drawn practically there is no core Okay, and uh, here at this point you can see that the current coil and compensating coil they are connected together at this point. Also note that we have a plus minus symbol drawn at the left side of the current coil and here another plus minus symbol is drawn on the left side of the uh, pressure coil. What is the significance of these uh, symbols? The significance is that uh, if at any particular moment uh, current is entering through this uh, plus minus side of the current coil and if current is also entering uh, through this plus minus side of this pressure coil then these two currents their effect will uh, lead us towards a positive deflection or a torque uh, towards the positive direction. If either the direction of the, uh, this current or this current is reversed, then that will uh, lead, uh, lead us towards a negative deflection. Okay. Achha. Next, consider uh, this uh, uh, potential transformer. So here, the right side will be the primary and the left side will be the secondary. So you can see that this is a voltage step down transformer and uh, the number of turns, the ratio of uh, the number of turns of the secondary to the number of turns of the primary is 1 is to K1. K1 is greater than 1, okay? So therefore this is a step down transformer, voltage step down transformer. Also, I have a dot symbol at one end of this primary and a dot symbol at one end of the secondary. 
what is the significance of these two dots the significance is that if at any particular moment uh, this side this end of the primary is positive with respect to the other end then at that particular moment this dotted end of the secondary will also be positive with respect to the other end that is the significance of this dot symbols or dot convention next uh, look at this current transformer here the upper side uh, will be used as the primary and the lower side will be uh, the uh, secondary this is a current transformer so uh, the upper side primary has less number of turns compared to the uh, secondary and the turns ratio uh, is 1 is to k2 primary uh, primary to secondary turns ratio is 1 is to k2 k2 is again greater than 1 so in terms of voltage this is a, a voltage step up transformer k2 is greater than 1 further uh, you can see that i have a dot symbol at one end of the primary and a dot at one end of the secondary what is the significance so here uh, as per the uh, principle of a transformer or uh, uh, as per the dot convention if at any particular moment a current is entering uh, this dot through this dotted end of the primary then the current should leave through uh, from this dot end end of the secondary uh, then uh, we want to measure the power consumed by the load for that we can multiply uh, the current flowing in this direction from top to bottom of the load at any particular moment with the voltage of the top end of the load with respect to the uh, bottom end if we multiply uh, the instantaneous current flowing from top to bottom and the instantaneous voltage of the top end with respect to the bottom end then we get the instantaneous power consumed by the load and uh, if we do a uh, if we calculate the time average of that product we will get the average power consumed by this load so i repeat we are going to consider the power, uh, current flowing from top to bottom of the load and we are going to multiply that with the voltage of the top end with respect to the bottom end of the load then to measure uh, this voltage of the top end with respect to the bottom end i can connect this uh, positive uh, this uh, this dotted end of the primary of the pt here and this other end of the pt is connected here okay and then i connect uh, this end of I mean this uh, minus end of this secondary of PT to this uh, this end of the pressure coil and then I want to connect this plus end of the secondary of PT to this plus uh, towards this plus minus end of the pressure coil okay uh, however you notice that this end uh, this left end of the pressure coil uh, is if i trace the circuit then this is actually similar to this point okay so instead of connecting this end of pt here i can actually connect it here okay because you can trace the circuit this end uh, is uh, connected to the left end of the pressure coil through this compensating coil okay so yeah so that's how i have connected the uh, potential transformer next to connect the current transformer i will uh, break this circuit here okay and let me put the primary of the ct in series uh, with the main circuit and then i connect uh, this end okay of the secondary of the CT here 
and the other end of this current coil I'll connect to the other end of the secondary of the city like this so notice that uh, the current coil of this uh, watt meter is sensing the current in the direction from left to right okay here uh, uh, that means this current is sensed by the watt meter and current in this direction is proportional to the current in this direction of the primary of the city which is uh, which is related to the, the current in this direction that is the intended direction uh, through the load. Okay? Similarly, the uh, pressure coil is sensing or measuring the voltage of the uh, left end of the pressure coil with respect to the right end, but left end is identical to this terminal. So that means pressure coil is sensing the voltage of this terminal, okay, uh, of this terminal with respect to this other terminal, which is proportional to this voltage here, voltage of this terminal with respect to this terminal, which is identical to the voltage of this terminal with respect to the other terminal, that is the intended voltage, desired voltage for measuring power consumed by the load okay so keeping these things in in mind we have connected this uh, equipment okay however just a brief note i would like to ma uh, make here that often practicing engineers and field workers they uh, need not consider all these things in so much details and uh, uh, watt meter terminals are uh, marked with the symbols like M, L, V, etc. And field workers, uh, they know that uh, the voltage is measured uh, between the uh, uh, be between the uh, L and V terminals, and current is measured from L to L terminals. And the symbol M stands for mains and therefore they know that this M terminal should be connected towards the supply mains, towards the source and L stands for uh, the load. So therefore this end should be connected uh, towards the load. Okay? And similarly, the symbol V stands for voltage. So we are measuring the voltage between L and V. So field workers often uh, work uh, by these conventions of M, L, and V, and they do not or need not consider uh, more detail beyond that. However, here we are interested in more detail uh, to have a better understanding. So let us understand this uh, in more detail. Okay. So, uh, so we know that the reading of the wattmeter will be proportional to the magnetic field created by this pressure coil okay uh, let me call that uh, phi pc multiplied by the magnetic field created by this current coil and compensating coil together so let me write the uh, as phi current coil plus phi compensating coil okay Achha. Then uh, this uh, term will be proportional to the following uh, quantity. Achha. Notice that phi PC, that is the magnetic field created by this pressure coil, is proportional to the current flowing through the pressure coil. And that current is equal to the voltage of this terminal with respect to this terminal divided by the impedance from here to here that is the impedance of the compensating coil and the pressure coil together so phi pc is therefore proportional to the voltage of this end with respect to the other end that is the secondary voltage of uh, of uh, the pt 
which will be proportional to the primary voltage of PT that is proportional to the voltage across the load. So, therefore, let me write uh, here this phi PC is proportional to VL where VL is the voltage across the load plus minus. And here at the moment we are considering ideal transformers that is to be noted. Okay, so, therefore, primary and secondary voltages are exactly uh, proportional and without any phase difference. Okay. Next, uh, let us find out how much is the uh, magnetic field created by the current coil and the compensating coil together. Achha. Now, the magnetic field created by the current coil will be proportional to the number of turns of the current coil NCC multiplied by the current that flows uh, through the current coil here. Okay. Now, let us find out how much is this current. Okay. Uh, if this current is I L load current here and suppose this current here is I 1, okay, then the current through the primary of this CT is I 1 plus I L okay, and uh, the current through the secondary uh, of the CT that will be I 1 plus I L whole divided by K 2. So, that is the current here, which is also same as the current through the current coil. Okay. So, I write here uh, I 1 plus I L whole divided by K 2. Okay. Uh, let me get some more space. Okay. Then plus we have to consider the magnetic field created by the compensating coil. So, that will be proportional to the number of turns of compensating coil okay, uh, multiplied by the current flowing through the compensating coil. Okay. Okay. Now, notice that uh, the current through the primary of the PT is I 1. So, therefore, uh, the current through the secondary of the PT that is this current will be I 1 uh, into K 1. Okay? So, this current here will be I 1 K 1 okay? which is flowing also through this pressure coil uh, and uh, then that is also flowing through this compensating coil, but from in the direction from right to left. Okay. So, uh, therefore, here I write I 1 K 1 with a minus sign. Okay. So, this term is the magnetic proportional to the magnetic field uh, created by the current coil and the compensating coil together. However, we want that this quantity of uh, that is the reading of the watt meter to be proportional to V L I L. Okay? So, that is that is what we want. However, we see here that there are the terms involving I 1 which we do not want and we have to get rid of this I 1 somehow. How can we get rid of I 1? For that we need uh, I 1 into N C C divided by K 2 that is this term uh, uh, and here I 1 into N comp into K 1 these two terms should cancel each other. So, they should be equal uh, uh, to each other and because of this minus sign they will cancel each other. So, this is what we want. Now, from here we can get rid of this I 1 from both the sides of this equation which will imply that 
n uh, cc by n comp that should be equal to k1 into k2. Now note that we have assumed that k1 is greater than 1 because this is a voltage step down transformer and k2 is also greater than 1 uh, which is uh, because this current transformer is a voltage step up transformer. So therefore the right hand side is uh, uh, much much greater, uh, this should be greater than 1 okay, because uh, k1, k2 should be greater than 1 and therefore we need that the number of current coil turns to be greater than or maybe much greater than in comp the compensating turns. Therefore, if k1 and k2 are large enough, then the number of required compensating uh, turns will be very less compared to number, uh, number of uh, current coil turns and therefore we may not uh, need the compensating uh, coil at all. Also, uh, notice that the number of compensating turns required depends on k1 and k2. So, uh, one who is designing or manufacturing this watt meter without knowing uh, the, num uh, the turns ratio of, of the CT and PT, uh, he cannot decide what, what is the exact required number of compensating turns. Therefore, I think uh, that uh, in most of the cases, this compensating coil is not required or is not used in practice. Only in uh, cases where we need a very sophisticated, sophisticated measurement, very accurate measurement, uh, then we have to decide this compensating, uh, uh, the number of turns of this compensating coil together uh, with the consideration of the CT and PT turns ratio. Otherwise, we can get rid of this compensating uh, turns at completely. Uh, it is often enough just to have a high resistance for this pressure coil and then we can get rid of this compensating coil.